Western Washington's network of tribal, state, and federal fish hatcheries make up one of the largest salmon hatchery systems in the world. In fact, most of the salmon harvested here are hatchery fish. Salmon are born in freshwater streams and rivers before migrating to the sea, only returning as adults to spawn the next generation. Salmon need cool, clean water to mature, and young fish need diverse stream habitat to grow, rest, and hide from predators. But over the years, human activity has damaged or destroyed much of the habitat these young fish need to survive. Today, hatcheries play an important role in salmon recovery and serve as a nursery for young fish in their most vulnerable stages of life. Some hatcheries act as a sanctuary to preserve and rebuild endangered naturally spawning stocks and are sometimes the last defense from extinction. Most hatcheries were built as mitigation for lost and damaged habitat and provide fish for commercial, sport, and treaty-protected tribal fisheries alike. Of the nearly 125 million salmon released every year in western Washington, about 40 million are produced by Northwest Treaty Tribes. Before they're released, hatchery fish have their adipose fin clipped so they can be easily distinguished from naturally spawning stocks. Some fish are also marked with a coated wire tag that helps fishery managers know where the fish go, how well they survive, and where they're caught. A great way to understand hatcheries is to simply view them as a productive tributary within a watershed. But once these young salmon leave the hatchery, they still need the same quality of habitat as naturally spawning salmon to survive. As long as lost and damaged habitat continues to restrict naturally spawning salmon populations, we will have to depend upon hatcheries to produce fish for harvest. That is because habitat, more than any other factor, determines the health of a salmon run. Hatcheries are most effective when combined with sound harvest management and efforts to protect and restore habitat. Until habitat loss can be reversed, hatcheries will continue to be an essential source of salmon for all of us.